Hello loves, welcome to I Am Love Podcast. I am your host Saida and this is the very first episode of I Am Love Podcast. I am excited. Uh, November 18th was my birthday and I wanted to give back by giving this podcast. Um, I started I Am Love XO.com three years ago um, was the start of my self-love and spiritual journey and um, at that time I was depressed but I was in a beautiful marriage that looked really great on the outside um, and inside in a way except for it wasn't great on my inside but let me paint the picture for you so basically I was in a five-year relationship two years married in um my husband was my ex-husband was a he's a great guy provider respectful um we didn't argue it was a healthy relationship had date night on Fridays and Saturdays had a townhouse um in not too far from the bay which is what I wanted um I love the water uh, living in Rochester and our only our big issue was only like the relationship between me and his family weren't good just off based off of guess who, who I am um and I know it takes time for certain moms to like accept the person or that they date or whatever but it was really like that was the only dynamic but I was away from my family my friends um there but I was able to like work for myself for three years out of the five um, full time. And then I was a designer, web designer, and graphic designer. So I had my own business. He handled the bills. I was always extra. I mean, it was beautiful. Um, I never dealt with infidelity, anything like that. No disrespect. So if anyone has ever like read the book or seen the movie Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert, I literally was that like okay, we look so great on the outside. Why are you depressed? (laughs) Um, I was so depressed. I was depressed for like a year, two years, about a year. Um, And I started going to therapy because I just couldn't take it anymore. I gained 30, 40 pounds. I was just just completely depressed. Um, When you're depressed, once it starts getting to a place where you want to disappear, you start having those type of adult thoughts or you want to kill yourself or anything like that. When you get to that place, you really need to just see someone. You need to talk to someone. You don't have to talk to your doctor. I did not talk to my doctor. I just found, Googled a fucking therapist. That's it. It's very that simple. It's just so nice to talk to someone else who's not your family, who's not your friends. Um, My friends, when I told them I was like sad and like I was depressed, they were just so concerned. It's just like, oh my gosh, like, and then you're so far, I can't do anything with you. I can't bring you out, make you feel ha- you know, feel good and bring you out and stuff like that. But honestly, there's no club, no booze, no food, no nothing of spending money that was going to make me feel better. My mom, she can't deal with that. Like if you tell some, like if anyone has a mom like this, like if you tell your mom you want to kill yourself or you want to disappear, they're going to freak out. Like <laughs> They're going to fucking freak out. They're going to be, my mom was on me like a hawk, like calling all the time. Like you will stress your fucking parents out behind that. Um, not to say, not to tell them. I'm not saying that's your choice. I just, me just telling my mom I was depressed. Not that I was having those type of thoughts, but like I was depressed and I was sad. Had her on edge. So I needed someone to talk to that wasn't close to me, that I wouldn't be worrying them why I'm worrying myself (laughs) Um, because that's stressful when your parents like react like that and it's only out of love it's only out of concern so yeah just find a therapist they took my insurance so I booked a session honestly it's the easiest shit ever I don't know why people have this whole thing about therapy it's just talking to another home human being okay and if you don't like that human being that you're talking to you find another one. <laughs> it's just that simple. It's just that simple. So the lady I found um, in Rochester was cool. I mean, I got a lot of stuff off my chest. And um, of course, someone who's unbiased because she doesn't know my husband. She doesn't know me. Um, 
you know, because a lot of people would look at me like, why are you like you're being ungrateful and appreciative? Like, why are you depressed and you have such a great life to be in your 20s? It's only going to get better. You know, this is what girls die for. They want this type of guy. Blah, 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 blah. So <laughs> um, it was nice because when she looked at it from the outside, you know, she was wondering why he wasn't in therapy with me. She was wondering why, you know, we are not having these conversations. Why are we not making plans to make compromises? Um, you know, because I've made so many sacrifices. So why is the sacrifices on one side and not the other? Um, as far as, you know, being balanced. Um, but he made more sacrifices on the financial end and I made more sacrifices as far as, you know, being there and being present and moving and, um, I did a lot of money up front and in the last three years he did a lot of the money. Um, so it was like, it was balanced for a lot of ways, but it's just that we got to a point where career was more important than putting the work into the marriage. So, um, yeah, it was just like, we can't see past that. And since we couldn't talk about it and we can't make any compromises on it, Um, she can see that. And so a lot of it came down to self. So when you're in a relationship or you're in a marriage and like, you can't make decisions together, then it ends up being a self decision. Like, what do you need for yourself? Um, and she just actually, honestly, she only suggested that I just go home for a little bit, be around my people and see what I want. Um, You know, she suggested that I go out and I go out with friends, meet new people. When you're depressed and you're an introvert, that's the last fucking thing you want to do is go meet new people. Um, So, and I totally understand that. Um, And a lot of people that has been, you know, on my blog for the last three years have said that. I get that. And that's totally me. And you can just go be around your family and your current friends. Um, even if you have to take a trip to go see them, like that's what I did. And I stayed with them. Um, okay. So fast forward, I decided to get a divorce. I decided back to move back home. Um, and it had nothing to do with him being a bad person. It's just who I am and what I needed and where I was going. This relationship couldn't give it to me. So, um, and we were really young when we got married. It's not, you know, I'm 30 now, obviously, Shit happens in your 20s. Like, I never suggest anyone fucking get married in your 20s. Long relationships, yes, but a lot of shit just changes. Um, I'm definitely at 20, at 30 years old now, I'm nowhere. I'm totally a different person when I was 22 and I moved. Um, so, you know, the relation has to basically evolve as you evolve. Anyway, so, yep, fast forward, move back home, but then... I get in contact with a past love who I've known since I was 11. I'm very codependent at the time. He's narcissistic. We haven't healed from our childhood wounds. This is why we choose to act like this and behave like this and be like this. I'm still kind of depressed, you know, working through that. I found a therapist local in my hometown and um, working with him. But I really started to get into spirituality. And I think that's really what healed me because I tried everything. I mean, I was reading blogs, reading books, um, as well as going through therapy. Um, It was nice to talk to someone. Yes. But I wanted to get down to the core and I wanted to make changes. And it takes so long to go through that, through therapy. So when I started to like look up Buddhism and Hinduism, um, I started to meditate that helped not to quiet my mind, but to really observe my thoughts um, and learn to not attach and hold on to them, but let them pass on by. So I never got to the place of quietness um, during that time. It was just observing my thoughts and thinking through things, thinking through my emotions, thinking through my situations. Um, even if I attracted this person, I was still doing the work from my, on myself. Um, and we just had a back and forth relationship basically for like a year. Um, 
as I was doing a lot of the work I needed to do for myself, which took time. I mean, I blogged for two years. So it took about two years um, and things changed the most. And I did the most work, honestly, when I had my child because I got pregnant and I had my baby. And that's when I really, really did the work. I was so serious. I wanted to be healed. Um, I met with a spiritual counselor at that time because I started to see psych, um, psychics throughout the year and they were on point with their predictions and reading my energy. So then I decided to go not stop going to therapy and start doing spiritual counseling because they can just read your energy and like situations and really help you and go deep to the core. So they really helped me uncover a lot of stuff, a lot of my subconscious shit, um, and helped me learn how to balance, um, and really think through and see, um, my situation through different perspectives, um, and let me know how it would be like in my future if I made a certain choice. Um, so that helped a lot and it was much faster than going to therapy as well and much more accurate <laughs> as well. And I couldn't hide anything because they can see it, they can feel it. Um, a lot of the people I talked to, the person I talked to was very intuitive um, and she's a psychic. So it was just easier to deal with her and really, and she was really raw and to the point and very assertive. So yeah, I get through, I did a lot of work when I had my kid. Um, you know, my ego, my pride, my daddy issues, being codependent, my mommy issues, got through all of that, let go of my spouse um, because it was a toxic relationship and he wasn't healing. Um, He wasn't doing the work I was doing. Um, And so I just let it go. Um, Still love him to death, do anything for him um, when he's in a better place. But right now he's not. So, and we're not. So, it's choosing to separate and I do that out of love for not only myself, my kid and him. Um, sometimes you just have to be the strong one in those type of situations. Um, and now we're here today launching this podcast. It's just another platform. I've been writing for three years, getting the comments. I'm building a community full of great people. It's a loving, positive community called self-love and personal growth Facebook community and I wanted this podcast so that it's another you know avenue for you to hear my story you know and for you to get into the community and talk to me just like I'm talking to you every week every Monday um I'll bring on my friends I'm bringing on my family I'm bringing on therapists and spiritual counselors I'm bringing on psychics tarot readers, everyone that I've ever came into contact with through my path, um, I'm going to bring on. And then people I'm meeting on my path, I will bring on and have a discussion here. Um, I'm doing this work because it took me three years fully to heal myself. I'm still doing the work now. I'm not perfect. I'm not here to sell anything to you. I'm here to share my story. If someone can relate, if I can help someone that is wonderful, if I can spark something in someone to make them understand that you have to do the work, you need to be self-aware, you need to love yourself, you need to make better decisions for yourself, it's for your life. It doesn't benefit me or anyone else for you to be happy. It benefits you and you're worthy of that. Um, I can't, I'm trying to figure out, you know, when you start to go down your spiritual path and you start to uncover all these conspiracies, the government, politi- all the political shit that's going on, um, TV, social media, relationships, men, women, black, white, Asian, etc. You start to uncover and see so many the world. You start to see the world. And you un, you see the bad a lot. 
when you take that veil off and you start to really see like Neo seen in the Matrix, like you really start to see shit for what it really is. It's scary. Um, and I wanted to like bump all that shit and I'm like, what is it at the, the core? Like, how can we change? Why are we so fucked up, you know, on a psychological level um, and on an emotional level? Like, why are we so fucked up as human beings? Like, why are we so, why are we suffering so much? Why are we making people suffer so much? And I just was like, okay, it's the core. Like, how aligned are you with yourself? How happy are you with yourself? I mean, I think it takes a real hurt fucking human being to hurt another person. On any level, you have to be hurt or detached or to be so fucking cold. Like, and I think it just has to do with self and everyone needs to take responsibility for themselves because we like to point fingers at everyone else. We want everyone else to fix everything for everyone else. And it starts with self. You need to fix your fucking self and then fix your family. And if everyone's doing that, the whole collective will heal. You know what I mean? Heal yourself. Heal your family shit. And then, and if everyone does that and take responsibility for themselves and their family's cycle and generational curses, I feel like as a collective, if we're all doing that, everyone will heal. That's my theory. That's what I've uncovered for myself. Um, everyone else has their own opinion, um, but that's me. That's why I'm doing the work. That's why I created I Am Love, and this is why I'm created this platform, so that I can reach more people and share my story with them. And hopefully they will start to do the work on themselves. So, you know, if this is something that, you know, this podcast has touched you in any way, my story has touched you in any way, um, please subscribe to it. Um, every Monday I will put out another podcast for here on until eternity. Um, until I can't go anymore. And so, and if you want to talk to me more on a daily basis, go into the self, um, love and personal growth group on Facebook. Um, cause I'm in there every day talking to people. Of course, you can hit me up um, inbox on Facebook as well to, or email me at uh, I am love podcast at gmail.com. Definitely stay in touch. I just want you to love yourself because you are love. You possess the love that you seek so much from other people or external factors. And you need to seek that within yourself. Please take care of yourself. And I look forward to talking to you in the next podcast. Peace.